Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. When the Bible says you shall reap if you faint not, it's talking about sometimes we get sick and tired. It, it actually says, don't be weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm getting ready to share a story of an experience I had that was really annoying, to be honest with you, very stressful. But many things would have passed me by now. And my husband would have been at higher risk had I not gone through this experience. And this is why we can't jump ship every time the storm arises. Well, listen, let me share real quickly with you about me. Years ago, I had a job working as a teacher's aide. And this job sent me home crying for weeks on end because the teacher would steadily be on my case. She was an, a born again Christian, but she was trying to teach me something and it was very difficult for me. I never raised kids, I never babysat kids. I didn't have to watch kids the way she wanted me to watch these. And she kept, she would call me, uh, Miss Love, uh, what are you doing right now? I'm saying I'm correcting the papers. You know, I wanted to say, you gave me, but I was trying to be cool, right? And she would say, well, I need you to pay attention. Patrick is acting up. And I'm thinking, I'm doing this work. What are you doing? That's what I wanted to say. Because she's getting paid four times what I was getting paid. I was the A, not the teacher. So I had to fight all that attitude. Well, that went on for months and months. And then finally she mellowed out, I mellowed out, and we were cool. But this is what it did for me. When I married my husband, my husband Milton, who's, who was blind, I was so trained to watching watching and observing, checking out, making sure, reassessing that if he, if any little slight thing was going wrong with him that nobody else would even notice, I'd have the paramedics there in a heartbeat. And because of that exercise, God revealed to me years, I mean, years after my husband passed away, this is why you were able to be so aware. Because of what you went through with that teacher. Yes, it felt unfair. Yes, it seemed unfair. And at times, it was unfair. But it prepared you for your husband's safety. And when other people thought he was getting uptight, especially toward the end, the hospice nurse didn't even know a nurse, an LVN, didn't even realize that my husband had gone into a, a petty mall seizure. I saw it, and I said, help me hold him. And she said, why? I said, he's seizuring. Remember I said he passed away from a, a tumor on the brain. These are little subtleties that people, all they did was tense up. His eyes got big. She didn't know what was going on, but I watched him like a hawk because of the training in that classroom. So every negative experience, God will bring around for your good. It's not going to work against you unless you work against you while you're going through the trial. Remember that. Don't be weary and well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not.